It's Monday, July 31st. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Happening today, a Mar-a-Lago worker recently added to the classified documents case is due for his first appearance in court. According to the indictment, property manager Carlos de Oliveira helped move boxes containing classified information for former President Trump and told another worker to delete security camera video to prevent it from being turned over to a federal grand jury. Meantime, Trump's presidential rivals, including Governor Ron DeSantis, say the former president's mounting legal troubles are why it's time to move on. We need to be focusing on using our energy and resources on defeating Biden and the Democrats. A pro-Trump super PAC has spent more than $40 million on legal expenses for the former president and his aides just this year. Trump's legal team is now reportedly creating a special legal defense fund, which would also cover the cost for some of his current and former aides named in multiple indictments. And after reaching a three-month high, the cost of gas is slowly inching lower. According to new numbers from AAA, prices in Florida dropped a penny from Saturday to an average of 366 a gallon. But that comes after a 30 cent per gallon spike over the past two weeks. Experts say the reason for the increase is higher oil prices, which have gone up about 15 percent over the past five weeks. Still, Florida's prices are lower than the national average, which stands at 375 a gallon. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now a completely random Florida fact. The Wonder House in Bartow was once a popular tourist attraction in post-Depression era Florida. When doctors told Conrad Shuck he had one year left to live, he moved to Polk County and built a magnificent mansion out of concrete decorated with glass and mosaics. The Wonder House, surrounded by lush gardens, opened to the public in 1934, and today its newest owner is working to restore the mansion. As for Conrad Shuck, he lived to the ripe old age of 94. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Make sure to subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.